Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Welcome back. May I kindly sit down? Mr. Witness, welcome back once again. Thank you. And for continuation of your proceedings, may I remind you that you are still under oath. Okay. Madam Chair, over to you. Mr. Suso, good afternoon and welcome back. Oh, thank you, Ma. Yes, before I hand you over to Council, may I ask whether you've brought the um, the evidence that I asked yesterday, if you have any of them? No. Not yet? Yes. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Suso. Afternoon. Um, during the break, you were going to check for some things. Were you able to find them? Yes, uh, so you're going to check on the provision that says that the CEO should be the secretary for the committees? Yes, I check it, but uh, that statement is incorrect, it's not correct. What I was trying to recall was CEO shall be ex officer to all, all, all committees of the council. But we read that provision before you went on break. Yeah. So you're now, and you, when I asked you after that, you said you still stand by that position, yeah. that it is the CEO who has to be the secretary to the committees. That is not correct. Okay. Now, the council's budget. Yes. It is the authorized revenue and expenditure for the council for that budget here. Is that right? Yes. So the council is not meant to spend anything outside of that budget unless it is also authorized. Yes. So in the event that the council expends um, a certain subhead of the budget, they would need a supplementary budget if they need to spend on that same subhead. Is that right? Yes. And you're able to wire to another subhead in the event that their savings going to be made on that side. Yes. So because what you're supposed to spend is what is in the budget. Exactly. And that only generally. Now that's why you need to be very careful in making the budget. Is that not right? Yes. So as much as the budget is supposed to be made up of estimates, they should be as accurate as possible. Is that right? Yes. So when you have a subhead for proposed expenditure for salaries and emoluments, it should be as specific as possible. Is yes, that right? for salaries and elements. And that's why you have the establishment register, right? Yeah. And so the establishment register would say exactly what each staff member is going to be paid per month and for the year. Yes. And all of that would be compiled, and that would be the figure that you would put in the budget for the upcoming year. Yes. Excuse me. <coughs> So this 30% um, increment. 30%, okay. Yes. It wasn't in the budget, was it? No, it was not in the budget. Was any supplementary budget passed for it? Uh, no. So where did the funds come from? It was uh, adjusted because uh, the thirty percent, uh, I do, I cannot recall actually when the thirty percent was uh, pronounced, but I know for you fifty percent earlier that yeah. you believe that the thirty percent increment started in about September twenty twenty two. That's what you said earlier. Yes, yes, that's that's what I said earlier. But uh, so 
I, I recall this was in 2021, September, October, between September, October 2021. That what? That's the, this, this one is the 50% increment. I don't understand. So the 50% increment was what? Was done in uh, September, October in 2021. 50% for staffs and 100% for pensioners. And where did that come from? Yeah, a circular was sent to councils. Can you provide us with that circular? Yeah, I will. I will. <clears throat> so you're saying, wh where was the circular from? Come again? Where was the circular from? From the ministry. From the Ministry of? Land, uh, local government. So the Ministry of Land sent a, sent a circular to increase salaries by 50%. Yes, that was a circular. In 2021? Yeah, that was a circular, yes. And then in 2022, there was a further 30% increase in salaries? That one, I cannot recall. Yeah, I cannot recall fully. But for this one, I can you, recall You that. recalled the 30% increase. You recalled the meeting that you had that increased the salaries by 30%. You recalled that it was September 2022. So how do you not recall now? It's only been about okay. an hour and a half. Yes, uh, I can recall the 30%, yes, in, okay. 30, in 2022, and I can also recall the 50% in 2021. You are right. Right. So the 50% increase in 2021, then, where did you get that funds from? Because you prepared the budget. The budget for 2021 was prepared in 2020. Where did the funds come from to increase by 50%? And mind you, the 50% increase does not show until 2022. So whilst you're thinking about the first answer, consider that as well. Yes, if I can recall, we did vitamin. From which budget head? Well, actually, I cannot recall that for now. No, but you can recall that you did vitamin. So yes. how do you not recall which budget head you vied from? Uh, yeah, until I have my notes. But actually, I believe... Uh, we did vitamin. Mr. Suso, you either know whether you did vitamin or you don't know whether you did vitamin. Mm -hmm. And if you know that you did vitamin, mm -hmm. you would know where you vied from. Okay. I should know, yeah. But I cannot recall actually. I cannot recall as of now to be very candid with you. What can you not recall? Whether there was vitamin or from where? Yeah, what I cannot recall is that what actually uh, transpired, or what which lines do we uh, via to increase the basic allowances to 5.3 million? The budget here that you doubled the salaries is 2022. Yes, that's the 5.3. So that was in the budget in 2022. If there was a salary increment in 2021, you would have started paying salaries double in 2021. Is that not right? You wouldn't wait till 2022 to start paying double salaries. Yes. We start paying salaries in October 2021 for the 50% and the 100% increment. So you said 100% for pensioners? And 50% for staffs. And what about the councillors? No, no. Okay. Their allowances were not increased? No, because uh, it, 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 councils are receiving allowance, and this is in respect to uh, pay scale, government pay scale. Did you not increase the councillors' allowance when government increased pay scale for 30%? By 30%? Yes, we did that, but so for this... So, what are you saying? Oh, actually, I cannot... Uh, recall increasing 50% uh, for councillors in 2021. But I can fully recall in 2022, the 30% was uh, added to councillors' allowance. Okay. My colleague has some questions for you. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. I just have one question for you. Right. It's with regards to um, the allowance that you are being paid or you're paying yourself and 
some others with respect to the IFMIS, using the IFMIS system. IFMIS system, okay. Yes. So again, you were giving, giving us the figures. How, how much was paid and to whom? Yes. CEO is receiving 10,000. Please speak louder. CEO is receiving 10,000. Yes. Myself, I'm receiving 8,000. Yourself? Yes. Okay. Finance manager is receiving 5,000. All right. Accounting assistant, one and two, they are all receiving 5,000, 5,000. Five, 5, Please proceed. Uh, procurement officer, 5,000. Yes. Plan and engineer, 5,000. Yes. Is that all? Yeah. Yes, so all these people are either working under you in your department or uh, aside from the CEO. Is, yeah, is sorry, that correct? I, yes. Can I come, come again? Uh, budget officer, 5,000. Yes. You, 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 you have named the budget officer. I think oh. he also works under your department. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. And what is, what is, what is the authority again that, that you followed in relation to making these payments to yourself? What I can recall is that there was a resolution passed at the General Council. When was that? I cannot recall the time, actually. But there was a resolution passed at the General Council yes. to say we, uh, we can be paid uh, for, for these allowances. You are the finance director? Yes. And you use the, the IPME system for accounting purpose? Yes. Literally, it's a tool that you use to do your work? Yes. Why must you be paid for that? Uh, what I understand is that it's it's a mean. It's a mean of motivation to so, uh, finance staffs. When you it, say it, what it was what created, you... has source of motivation to finance staffs. Who created it? Yeah, it is approved by the general council. Who created the allowance payment? The approval is different. Management, we suggested to the general council. Yourself and CEO. Yes. So you decided to allocate monies for yourself. Yes. And you are paid salary. I'm paid salary. Yes. For what? For my for my job. Which job is that? You, by you, you, and part of your job is you using the, the IFMI system. Yeah. Is that a discretion to, you, to use the IFMI system? Do you have a choice? No, that's how it comes about. Is that an extra service that, that you, you are re rendering to the area council? No. So why are you having that as an allowance? Yeah. At that time, we believe it's a new system and then uh, it requires a lot of job time and then this is why we come with that uh, recommendation to general council so the salary you are paid for the job you do apart from the IFMI system doesn't does require time and energy of course it requires time so what is different yeah maybe this one is more hectic it's supposed to make your job easier yeah. in, instead yeah. you had the manual system before mm. yes which is more hectic than the IFMI system yeah. The system can never be more hectic than the manual system. Yeah. Is that not correct? Yeah. But however, we decide... Is that not correct? That's correct, yes. Yes. So then you, if, if that should be a justification, that you would have been paying yourself allowance for doing your manual job, the manual system. However... Does it make, not make sense? Well, at our level, that's what we come up and then recommend to the General Council and it was... But why? why? Why did you come up with that? Oh. Yeah, it was, a, it was a management decision that we took. It was? It was a management decision. You, you should speak louder. Yeah, yeah. I'm you see, you are the finance director. You are here. There are so many um, financial um, issues that we want to understand. Yeah. So if you will help us and you will do us good on yourself if you speak louder for, so that we can understand uh, what was happening at the area council. I think I said a lot about this, that it, it was a management decision. We agreed at the management level and we push it to general council. Uh, was that correct? Well, it's not correct. It's not correct? Yes. And you know it's wrong. You yes. know the entire process, that there's no need to waste time. The entire process of paying yourself those allowances were totally wrong. Yes, it's wrong. Why did you do it? Yeah, we did it actually. But no, no, I'm, I'm talking about you for now. Mm -hmm. Why did you do it? Since we have agreed simply to motivate the finance staff and myself, then we decided to recommend to the general council and they approve based you, on what are our explanations. Are you qualified in your job? Yes. Do you, are you qualified to hold your position? Of course. Why do you say that? Because I believe I can do the job. It's not about being able to do the job. It's about having the qualification. Do you have it? 
Well, I was appointed by the local government service commission. I don't appoint myself. Do you have the, the, the qualification for the job? Well, that, that, I cannot ascertain that simply now, because yes. when you go through the, uh, the requirements for the, the position, well, I cannot, I cannot determine that, but I was appointed by a local government commission, a local government, a local government service commission, and that is best known to them. The minimum requirement was to have a, a bachelor's degree. You don't have that, and you don't have its equivalent. It has been captured in the system audit report. Is that not true? But that, that is not the only requirement for the position. Did the system audit report highlight the fact that you don't have the qualification to hold the office? I'm saying... I am... First answer the question. Yes. Did the system audit highlight the fact that you don't have the qualification to hold the, the, the office? I totally disagree with that. No. Do they... Yes, they highlighted it, but exactly. I totally disagree Just with it. answer the question. And okay, the, thank and you. Anything you want to add, Mr. Suso? All right. Do you understand? Yeah. So now they said on page 17, and I will tell you why I am bringing this thing up. Page 17 of the system audit. It said, lack of professional quali qualified accountant at the finance director. Department, sorry, and I will read verbatim. The finance department is among the most cr critical functions of the of the councils with regards to the in its financial management. During the review of the personal files, we observe that there is no qualified person in the accounts unit. That includes you. Now, during the recruitment process, the local service commission advertised that the finance director should have at least a bachelor's degree, but the highest qualification for the current finance director came across during the review was ACCA Foundation Level One. Diploma in accounting and business, which is below the bachelor's degree level. W was that correct? Is that your qualification? That is correct. Is this qualification a par with a, 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 a bachelor's degree in accounting? Yes, that is correct. So you don't have the qualification? For, for that, po yes, I don't have the qualification. Good. So now the implications are that there's a lack of professional advi advice on financial issues. It might lead to mismanagement of the agency's funds, which we have seen, which we will discuss subsequently by your very self. And the, the, since the accountant is taking actions based on other, other or either right or wrong answers, or wrong um, um, procedure, do you understand? And do you know what your management res, um, responded? And you are part of management, are you not? Are you part of management? I have, I'm part of management. Council, can you complete reading this loud? And yes, it says, there is lack of professional advice on financial issues of the agency. It might lead to mismanagement of the agency's funds since the accountant is taking actions based on orders either right or wrong. The recommendation, the chairman, local service commission, permanent secretary, minister of lands, and the CEO should ensure that a professional and qualified finance director and accountants are employed at the council. The chairman, local service commission, payment, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Lands, should investigate the abnormalities within the recruitment process and take necessary actions. Your management responded. Yes. Do you have the report with you? Do you have the report with you, sir? Yes. Yes, turn to the next page on page 18. You will see the response. It says, the Chairman Establishment Committee to write to the Permanent Secretary to um, appoint a qualified and experienced finance director and other finance officers. Hence, the current finance di director does not have the qualification, required qualification. Yeah, that was the management response. Yes. But uh, are you not part of management? I was part of management, but during this management response, yes. I have my reservations. Yes. And then I will seek for the permission of the chair pass, yes. the Madam Chair. For me to give a short statement regarding to this financial st this or this report. No, you will make statements after the, the um, we are done with you. You can, you can make that prayer to the chair, to the commissioners. They may grant it. For now, we need responses to questions that we are asking. Can you do that? I would prefer you give me the opportunity, if I can have the opportunity, to make a short statement before talking about the. the what do you want to say? Yeah. What I want to say is that this internal audit report, looking at it, it, source a face, uh, it, it, it could source a, a, a true f f face value, but in this sense, there is a lot of misrepresentation of statements, false accounting allegations, 
claims totally biased from the level of the auditor and the management responses. Yes. Now, when we get to the issues yes. that you feel they are, they, there is an element of bias it, or it, false representation, this is a fair um, commission, it's a, f a fair environment for you to respond to some of the allegations that will be raised. So have no doubt that you will respond to them. Do you understand? Okay. So it's about how you respond, not about making a statement. Now, but you have agreed with me that you don't have the qualification. Is that not correct? Yes. Good. Now, you made a similar statement when my lead counsel asked you regarding the internal audit, that you don't pass most of these things through the internal audit. That when, when you're making the, the increment, it never passed through the internal audit. Is that not correct? Yes. And your answer was because the internal auditor is, doesn't have the capacity. He said that very clear. Yes. Yes. He, that he, she doesn't have the capacity. Yes. She, do, she, she said that to you? Uh, yeah, he normally said that in the office. Did she say that to yes. you? Yes. When? Yeah. Several times she will come to my office that, uh, for, she, for even advice for her to go for training. One person without a capacity, without capacity, is still another person who has no capacity, that I don't have a capacity, the, the capacity. Both of you don't have the capacity. I disagree to that. No, no, but you can disagree, but you've already agreed with me, you don't have the qualification. No, the qualification is one thing, but the experience also is one thing. No. My appointment to this position doesn't come from me. And then that is best known to uh, this local government service, why do, you, why do they appoint me as director of finance? And then within uh, the, the time I was, that when I was director of finance, I'm doing my responsibility to the best of my ability. So to... The same way you, you should have known you did not appoint the internal, internal auditor and therefore you have everything that is required to pass through her office should have passed through her office. But I don't appoint the internal auditor. Yes, so make sure you do your it's job. Not, it's not my responsibility to appoint. I'm not saying... She, she have know, her TORs, I you, have my You are TOR. not listening. Yes. You are not listening. Okay. You don't have capacity as far as I am concerned because okay. you said, you agreed that you don't have the qualification. You agreed to that. And therefore, if you don't have capacity because you don't have the qualification, she doesn't have the capacity, but you are running your office, aren't you? I'm doing my, I'm doing my job. Allow her to run her office. I never stop her to do, do her you, job. But you never pass documentation that is required to pass through her. The document has been taken to her on several occasions. When you were asked whether you have sent um, the, um, the, um, the increment to her office, internal audit, did you do that? Did you send the office? send those documents well but this decisions come from uh, the, the, the council where are those documents sent to through internal audit I yes cannot, or no I cannot recall I can't recall you did not send now I'm making you understand you never sent those documents to internal audit well I cannot recall but you agreed with my lead council that you never sent those documents to the internal audit yes yes so it's easy to admit where you know you haven't done it. You save everyone, everyone valuable time. We move on, Mr. Suso. All right, thank you. So if you do not send the, the documentation with respect to the increment to, through internal audit because she has no capacity, should you be, 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 be carrying your functions as the finance director? Well, as far as I'm appointed, I'm doing my job. I'm under the supervision and the control of the, the CEO. So if I'm not doing the right thing, it's the responsibility of the CEO to, to decide. No, you, you're not getting my question. Yeah. Was the internal auditor appointed? Yes, he, yes. He was did, did he appoint herself? No. So she is lawfully appointed? Uh, at, at, the, at the council. So whether she has capacity or not, the truth of the matter is she is appointed. Yeah, he is given the position. Exactly. And therefore that position has to be functional. Exactly. And therefore, documentation regarding accounts that has to pass through her office should pass through her office. Yes. And so if you fail to do that, then you are neglect neglecting in, in your duty to do what is required of you. Yes. Do you agree with that? Yes. Exactly. But she also have her responsibilities to do too, to see that documents are not passing unless they take actions. Mr. Um, Mr. Suso. Yes. Is the internal audit supposed to come and request for documentation for, for any payment that's supposed to be made or is it your responsibility to send the documents to internal audit? It's the responsibility of, of accounts. Exactly. Yes. And who is the head of accounts? Myself. Don't play games. Do not play games. Let's be honest and we move on. Okay. You understand that? 
Now, back to your allowances. When did that stop? Did it stop at any time? No. Why? Well, it is continuing. It is not? It's, we are still receiving the allowance. But why? When you knew it was wrong, you have admitted here it, is, it was wrong, and you knew it was wrong. Yeah. When did you know that it was wrong? When did you know that it was wrong to do that, to pay those monies to, your, to yourself? You know, uh, it's just now I'm trying to accept it is wrong. But yes. Previously, I, I based it on the resolution passed by the council. There is no resolution. You see, again. Uh, I'm, I'm saying there was the resolution. I'm telling you, there is no resolution. Now, see whether I will provide a document or not. You will not provide the resolution. I think you, you give me the opportunity whether I will provide something for you. No. You see, it is for you to provide the evidence. It is not for me yes. to tell you when was the resolution passed. I'm now saying you give me the opportunity so that I can provide something for the, for, for the, for, for the commission. When was the resolution passed? I cannot recall. Exactly. Which year was it passed? But I know, I know very well it's in 2021. Are you not a very minister who said, in fact, when it was passed, you, you were not present? You were not, in fact, in Burkama? Yeah. I, I, I can remember that I was not uh, in, in the office by then. In but fact, I know it was during my time. No. You said initially when you were asked, that in fact, it, it happened behind you. You were in Burkama, not in Basse at the time. But when you were confronted, you agreed that you, you, were, you were present. Yeah, because these are things that you need to recall your mind. Sometimes you get it wrong, sometimes you get it right. So which one did you, which one did you get, wrong or right? Yes, I get you, it You got wrong. it wrong at the time? I got it wrong. You get so many things wrong, um, Mr. Suso. Thank but I will hand, hand you over to my lead to proceed. Thank you. With other matters, yes. Mr. Suso, do you have a senior budget officer? No. So you only have a budget officer? Yes. Now, did you assist in preparation of the budget for 2023? Uh, yes. Okay, so the establishment register that you prepare to assist you in preparing your budget, it would have all the staff and their salaries. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me show you exhibit LGC stroke BGS stroke BSAC stroke 003. Under the portion that has budget officer, you have Oseno Ture. Is it Oseno Ture? Yes. Now, on top of that, you have senior budget officer, right? Yes. What's the salary for the senior budget officer? What is captured here? 12.1. Sir, can you speak into the mic? What is captured here uh, is 12.1. Okay, and there's no name. For senior budget officer? No name. And what's the annual salary? Annual salary is 210000 So these are the itemized amounts that go into the budget that make up the um, salary and allowance budget, right? Yes. So already there's one staff that does not exist. Yes. Which is captured in the budget, and it's for 100, 100 and what thousand, sorry? 210,000. 210? Yes. Thousand. For the air. Okay. So, are there many staff that are like that, that don't exist, but their salaries are being captured in the budget? I think what I can recall is it's supposed to be three staffs. That is the. No, that's not. That's supposed to be recruited for 2023. By the time you were leaving in July, how many staff did you recruit for that office? No staff. So did you write to the Local Government Service Commission to recruit those staff? Yes. Okay, so can you bring copies of those letters? Okay. For staff for the budget office? Okay. 
Thank you. Can I have the exhibit, please? Now, what were you going to use to pay for these staff, considering that the council doesn't have funds? Yes, this is a budget, it's an estimate. Mr. Suso, the estimate is based on something, it's not yes. out of the air. So where did you advise the council that the funds for the new staff you wanted to recruit was going to come from? All expenditures are tied to our revenue uh, uh, estimates. Your revenue estimates? Yes. And how realistic are your revenue estimates? It's a projection, but we ensure that it is realistic. Okay, so one of your core duties is to ensure that you collect as much of the revenue that you're supposed to get in a year as possible. Yes. All right? How did you do for 2021 in terms of revenue collection? Yeah, we are collecting our normal uh, what was, the, what was the percentage of revenue collection? In 2020? As against your budget. For which year? Your budget, if your budget was $4 million for rates and taxes, how much did you actually collect? How much? Did you actually collect? For which year? 2021 to 2022. Actually, I don't have that report with me. The budget is before you. It was one of the exhibits that was shown to you. OK. So for 2022, you estimated residential rates as five million. And that's what you expected to collect in 2022. Yes. Now the approved budget for 2021 was four million dollars. The actual that you collected in September 2021 was 2.180985.77. So you've projected that you're going to collect five million dollars rates and taxes. Yeah. So how is it that you only collected 2.1 million <coughs> for, sep for 2021 when the budget was 4 million? Uh, okay. If you look at uh, the 2.1 represents collection has at September 2021. Mm -hmm. And then we have three months to Did go. Did you collect the 4 million at the end of the year? Uh, I cannot remember that. Off I'm head. sure. Yeah. So The five million, did you collect it by 2022? That was just last year, so I'm sure you can remember. The 2022 actual collection for, no, we did not get the five million. About how much did you get? So about three to four million. About three to four million. Yeah. Now why is it that you can't get the five million? Yeah, there is a lot of uh, issues to that. Because in 2021, 2022, we have inadequate devices for collection. And then also, uh, taxpayers not been complying to pay tax to councils. So what is the remedy that is available to the council when taxpayers don't pay tax? Yes, if taxpayers do, do not pay tax, we normally follow them by you know, summoning them to the chiefs. Have you ever taxes. summoned anybody to the chief? Yes, we do. When? Yeah, within the period. Which period? In 2022, I could fully remember in July, August. How many people did you summon? I cannot remember the few the number. But you would have them somewhere? Yes, we have, we have it somewhere. Yes, so provide those as well, please. Can yeah. Sure. Now, Mr. Suso, what um, documents do you take for bilaterals when you go to the ministry to discuss your budget? Yes. Show them proof hmm? of how you arrived at 
the estimated draft budget that you are presenting to them? Yeah. We normally provide our actuals for the period, like for that of uh, 2022, we provided our actuals as of September. This September? 2021. Like, for example, when we are going for bilateral, bilateral for 2022, we will <coughs> present a report showing actual <coughs> collections has at September 2021 has the basis. From there, any increment, we will explain and defend to show that we will able to meet this particular uh, uh, target of FIGO has uh, captured in our draft budget. Yes. Tells you when you lay this budget, what I am asking is different from what you are telling. Um, I don't seem to understand what you are saying. Okay. If you look at your Finance and Audit Act, it tells you when exactly you send this to the council. Is that not the case? Yes. Can you tell us when you normally have to send? this to the council? <coughs> because you are talking about September. And it is the same September that you are supposed to send after you have done your <coughs> consultation with your, with your professionals, your admin, yeah. your ward committees, <coughs> your staff at yes. your department. Right. Is that not what the act is saying? Yes, but this particular budget bilateral, it was late. Huh? It was it was late. It was late. Yes. So what you are telling us is not correct as per the act, right? Yes. Okay. So now, um, can't you may proceed before I even ask the question? Yes, before you proceed, Council, um, the, um, the actual for September 2021, yes. um, for instance, um, the commercial rates, yes. which has a subhead of uh, 94, which is subhead 94, okay. you have actuals for September 2021 been um, 94,000. Eighty-nine dialysis and seventy-seven bootles, and you estimated that you will collect in two in twenty twenty-two two million four hundred and six thousand one hundred and forty-one point seventy-one. Yes. Now tell me how you are able to use the preceding year's actual to inform your estimation, since the the you, the act is not changed. The the licensing act is not changed. You will not have the mandate to augment the rates that you are collecting. How did you arrive at this two million? Yes. <coughs> Actually, we have the mandate. The what? To, we have the mandate to yes. increase our rates because we have power to levy in the race act. Yes. Let me um, um, refer me to the act and the provision. Uh, General Race Act, 1992. Power to labor rates. Uh, Council, can we be? Yes, let him read so that you cross check. Yes, can yeah. you read? Yes. Uh, you said the General Rates Act, yes. 1992. Part 2. Part 2, yes. Yeah. Power to levy rates. Yes. Every rating authority shall have power in accordance with this act uh -huh. <coughs> to, make <coughs> to make levy general rates on the basis of as assessment in respect of the capital value of the property uh -huh. in its rating area for the purpose of a public nature. To make such rates has will be sufficient to provide for such part of the total estimate expenditure 
to be incurred by the authority during the period in respect of which the rate is made has is not to be met by other means together with such additional amount has may be required to cover expenditure previously incurred or to meet contingencies or to defray an expenditure which may fail to be defrayed before the date of which the money is to be received in respect of the subsequent stays made under this section will be available. Yes, yes. Commissioner Fan has. Thank you. I uh, the No. Rule. In Basel, no. How can you implement the provisions of that 1992 Rating Act? And then the, the Rating Act stipulates that there are three types. You have the domestic, you have commercial, and also you have government properties. Yes. And then there is a tax value that is uh, placed onto the valued properties. And according to the Act, the valuation is done every five years. And once the valuation is done of properties, then it has to be displaced, it has to be uh, placed with displayed in the council for a period of three months at least. For anybody who has any questions, objections, or whatever, can come and lay his complaint. If you do anything uh, beyond that, that is illegal. <coughs> and uh, previously, uh, at, at the level of the councils, uh, you have domestic and commercial. And at one point, the, the rate for domestic was 0 0.001%. Uh, it has gone up to four. Yes. And for commercial, what was the rate? What is the rate for commercial? 0 0.3. 0 0.03. 0 0.003. Yes. Yeah, that is the rate for commercial. And for uh, domestic is 0 0.004. Yes. And that is dependent on the rateable value of the property. And if you have not done valuation of the property, then you just arbitrarily uh, send uh, a demand note to anybody at your own beeps and caprices that is not in line with what you are trying to show in the General Rating Act of 1992. So how do you reconcile that? When and normally, how often do you do valuation of properties to, to, to have uh, the right charges for, for the properties? Okay. I understand about the valuation, <coughs> and I understand in Brikama there was a valuation done cassetted. But this particular section, my understanding is that council have right to assess properties on, 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 on the discretion of the council and charge, pro, uh, and charge properties based on our assessment and our, our, our discretion. That's my, that's my understanding about this particular... Uh, but but, but is, that is guided by the provisions of the Act. It's not that every year you just do your valuation. In fact, you don't even have the necessary manpower to do that. No, we don't do valuation every year. But this is talking of assessment. Assessment, we normally do it every but, year. But the chair is telling you that there has been an assessment that is quite uh, different from that of uh, the previous year. This year you have this on the same properties. And then the following year, the, the value has gone up. The assessment has gone up. So that means to say an assessment was done. Yes. This particular uh, section... No, now, let me help you, Mr. Susu. The, how did you arrive at the 2 million, 2.4 million? So two, you did an assessment... 2.4 million. Uh, yes. 2.4 million? 2.4 million for the... No, for the commercial rates you had... 1.2 and for government rates you had 2.4 
the previous year, the actuals were 1.4, 74,000, 1.4 million respectively. Yes. Yes. So now, the one I am referring to with respect to the 2.4 is the government rates. So how did you um, arrive at this 2.4? So which means the previous year of 2001, you made assessment. There was an areas. There, eh? there was an areas. There were areas. Yes, this amount 1.4 represents the actual amount paid. For, for 2021? Exactly. Yes. So, but there was an areas. But that no, uh, wait. Here, you cannot tell me here areas because this is this is a budget overview summary of Basa Area Council. That is that is your that is the um, budget that we were given by your people from your finance department, yes. right? Yes. And this is talking about the estimate for 2022. Yes. It's not talking about what areas you subsume into the budget. You cannot subsume areas into the budget. Am I correct? Can you subsume areas into a budget? Yes, for the following year, yes. You can subsume the yes. areas into the yes. following year. You have to capture your areas in the, uh, in and the following And you carry year. them forward? Yes. You carry forward Of course, budget. you have to collect so, your areas. Yes, so that, so that uh, but would that, would that be um, a realistic representation of what your budget is? Of course, because those areas yeah. are figures that are realistic and we need to collect them and we could not collect them for, for, uh, for, for, for the current year, so we need to add them to the following year so that the, uh, in that in the following year we can still endeavor to collect so that is why you have the yeah, estimated yeah. estimated amount yes being what it is yes yes that it was the areas, but not evaluation. No. I think what Madam Chair was saying is that the actual collection for 2021 September was 1.468 on government rates. Then the following year, we increased the amount to 2.4. So this 1.4, that was an, this, is, this is the actual collection, but that doesn't mean that this is what government, uh, government is owing us on rates. No, but, but Mr. Suso, yes. um, you are looking at the document. Yes. You are misrepresenting facts to us because if you look at the document that we are all looking at, yeah. you see the approved budget for 2021 was 1,468,717.91. Yes. The actuals that you received, you said, in 2021 yes. is 1,468,000. 713.91. So there cannot be areas. This is why I am baffled. Can there be areas based on this representation that is there? Or is it a mistake? Well, I saw the approved budget of 1.4. And I saw no, but, but just go through what I read just now. Yes. If you look at the approved budget, the approved yes. budget is 1.4. The actuals as of September 2021 is 1.4. Yeah. I can fully remember this was an No, 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 no. Let's yeah. deal with figures. Okay. You are okay. a finance person. Yeah. You're very experienced for that matter. Okay. Let's deal with what okay. is on the paper, yeah. not what you can assume. Okay. Yes. Actual. Approved. That is what was approved as your budget for 2021. Yes. 1.4, 6, 8, 713.91. And as at actual in September, you have 1.4687391. And then your estimate for 2022, you said is 2.406141.73. That is 2,406,141.73. So neither what Honorable Fall has said or what you have in this document, you understand? is the correct situation and you cannot give us a logical explanation to explain how you arrived at this figure 
Now, can I take you back to approved estimate for 2020? On yes. the same line, yes. you have 7.2. Yes. That's approved amount. Yes. We have actual collected of 1 million. Yes. So for you see the difference of yes. 5 something. Yes. Can yes. you see the difference? Yes. Actual budget is 7.3. Yes. And then the actual collected has a DSM of 1 million. Yes. If so you subtract, subtract, do the, do, do, do the subtraction. Yes. Let's do the mathematics before you explain. Yes. yes. The difference is 6.3. Yes. Okay. When we are preparing this budget, yes. we come to understand. Now, okay, wait. Now, when you were pre preparing that budget, you have an area based on what you have told this commission. Yes. You should have had an area of 6 million plus. Yes. Yes. But where is that reflected in your approved budget of 2021? No, that, it, doesn't it doesn't appear there. So why? If you say you carry forward your areas, and that will be the, that is what is going to be your final budget for the following year. Okay. You know, the 2021 budget was not prepared in my time. But so that is why you cannot you cannot tell us um, the issue about 2020 because it is it is by looking at this. It is even totally false accounting that is here. No. Because, wait, because if you had gone by this document, you understand, you will have a total, a different, a totally different estimate for 2022. Because if you go by going back two years, you came, you went to uh, Basse in 2021, right? Yes. For you to be able to prepare end of 2021, the budget for 2022, you would have looked at 2020. Not so? Yes. But 2020 has given you an areas of 6 million plus, yes. which is not reflected in 2021. Yes. Till end of 2021, when you are doing the 2022 budget. Yes. So where is the explanation going to come in to justify or to explain this situation? Mama. Even if you were not there, you would have presented this thing and you would have provided caveat in the budget for these anomalies. Is that not what should have happened? No, ma'am. Oh, what I can fully No, what I'm saying, yes. you were there in 2021. Even if it was, you were not there in 2021, but you would have looked at the 2020 budget as the finance director. Yes. What has happened in 2020, right? Yes. For you to be able to have an informed, you understand, mm -hmm. understanding of yes. what you need to project for in 2022. Yes. Am I not correct? Yes, you are right. So what I am saying is that you as finance director would have even picked up the mistakes and the wrongs they have done in 2020 and say that in 2021 we will not be able to get this because of X, Y and Z has gone wrong in 2020 because they did not represent the figures correctly to you. Yes, that is what I'm saying. That's right. So why didn't you erase that? Or is it correct? Where is the six million? No. Now tell me, where is the six million? The six million is not captured. It's not captured. Why didn't, wh then why didn't you raise it? It was not captured. Yes, Council, you may proceed. It's all right. I have, on the same line, Mr. Suso. Yes. <clears throat> you came in, in 2021. Yes. And you found a budget there. Yes. Who executed that budget? Myself and CEO. Yourself and the CEO. Yes. And uh, in your execution of the budget, you have seen that the some of the parameters that were in the budget were not in favor of the council. Yes. And you did not, as my chairperson is saying, you did not raise a flag. You continued with the budget. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now, um, in your preparation, be mindful that this budget is actual up to September. Yes. Right? And uh, we have seen where discrepancies have already existed without before going to the end of the year. And you never erased it when you are preparing the estimate for 2022. 
ahead. Yes. Okay. Let me let me take you on a walk on your budget. Your residential rates. Yes. In in twenty twenty, you estimated two point eight, but you actually collected two point one. Call it two point two. Okay. You have a seventy six percent reduction. Okay. Of your estimate, you could not collect for twenty twenty. Twenty twenty, you collected only seventy six percent. Okay. So you have a, a, a discrepancy of 26%, 24 percent, okay. which you cannot collect. Let me take you on another step. On the same residential rates, you have budgeted 2.6 million, call it 2.2 million, residential rates. Okay. But you actually recorded four million. The number is very fine. Four million. It doesn't have in between numbers. It's just four million net. That would give some an auditor some question on that. But you actually received of that four million. 2.18, call it 2.2 .2 million. Yes. So you, you have received only 54% of your 4 million. Okay. At first, you received 76% 76 the following year you received less, which is 54%. But notwithstanding, you took the projection from 4 million to 5 million. But you've seen a downward trend. Why did you increase it to 5 million? Okay. Because this budget, you prepared this one for 2023. 2022. Yeah, for 2022. Okay. You prepared this. Okay. What's the reason that behind you taking it from 4 million to 5 million when you had actually collected less in the previous year than in the subsequent years before that? Yes, okay. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, in 2021, there was a budget that was prepared. Uh, no, wait, I'm just saying, there you was, executed the 2021. Myself and CEO. Yes. You are the accounts no, man. No, I, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Yeah. I'll be in patient. 2021, yeah. there was a tariff. There was? A tariff that was developed. A tariff? A tariff, yes. Okay. For, uh, for all the councils. Yes that we are expecting will be approved mm -hmm. in the following year. Mm -hmm. It was uh, prepared by all the councils. We mm -hmm. had this meeting, I believe, mm -hmm. in Masa Congo. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, no, but let's limit ourselves to Basse. Yeah, Basse, yes. Yes. So that was a tariff that was in, in, in progress to be approved mm -hmm. and to be gasseted. Mm -hmm. And it was sent to the ministry. So on that anticipation, anticipation we expect that if that is approved, then the, the rates will increase, then we'll be able to uh, have this five million. So you knew about this when you were doing the, when this budget was being approved in 2021? Yes, and that's how we present at our, at our bilateral, to say that we are expecting okay, this okay, tariff this will on. be approved and open the approval Agreed. of that tariff. Agreed. But let me get, let me get you to another point. Okay. It, will, it will diffuse your argument. Commercial rates. Yes. For 2020, you estimated 1 million. Actuals in 2020, you received 3 million 460, meaning you have received 346% more than what you had actually placed in, your, in the books. But you came in and executed it. You executed that of 2021, where the approved budget was one million. Are you following? Yes, I'm following. Now, the actual up to September was seventy-four thousand. Yes. Isn't isn't that cause for concern? Yes. When you cannot even get a hundred thousand from commercial rates. 
you had 74,000. Call it 70, yeah, 74 because it's 74,089. Isn't, shouldn't that tell you something as a finance man? Something is wrong in your commercial rates? Yeah, something was wrong. Okay. But that did not stop you from thinking that way. You went in and increased that of 2022 to from 1 million to 1.2 million. Yes. So what were you thinking these monies will come from for this increase? Yes, we are thinking that the tariff will be approved. And then we have a lot of commercial properties within Basse, the banks, the, the, the lodges, uh, uh, and then uh, mm, major shops. So, so we you, expect. So you want to tell me, in one year, you cannot even make seventy-five thousand dollars in rates, and the next year, because you had so many businesses, you will take it to one point two million. Yeah, but this figure, has Basse businesses grown that big? Yeah, Basse is growing, but this seventy-four no, wait, is represented within the one year. Yeah, within the one year frame. Let's confide ourselves to a time frame. Yeah. And let's uh, not presuppose of something that never happened. These are facts. You gave us this document, or your office gave us this document. Yeah. In 2021, you can only collect 74,000. How can you collect 1.2 million in, 70, in 2022? When the 1.1 million, you could not even collect it in uh, in 2021 the 74000 is has at september so i i will i will be, com I will be comfortable if i see from september to december well, okay you give us the uh, september to end of the year of 2022 2021 no, i don't have that. i don't have that. you are the director of finance you prepare this yeah. so you want to tell me when you were preparing this budget you did not take cognizance of the fact that it was half year or three quarter year what about the extra three months? Yeah, within the three so months. So that shows your incompetence of being a finance di uh, director. As the auditors have highlighted. My position is that... No, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm asking you a question. It's, I don't want to hear your position. I want to know this as I have asked. You cannot collect... 75,000. You want to collect 1.2 million the following year. And you do not take cognizance of the fact that it is three quarter of the year that has gone. You can only collect 74,000. Where can you collect 1.2 million? Or even 1 million? For 1 million to meet your projected in 2021. You know the difference from 74,000 to 1 million? Yes. What's the difference? 900. Um, and you think you can get 900,000 when it takes you nine months to collect only 75,000? You think in three months you'll be able to collect 900,000? But there's uh, no but, there's no if uh, or but. This is a budget. No, no, no. Please, so, please, uh, please. You cannot tell me anything about budget. When we are preparing the budget. Budget has to be realistic. Yes. It has to show. That's why I gave you the trends. The trend here is showing you it's going down. Yes, but that's what the trend is showing you. It's yes. going down. Yes, the trend was showing me it was going down. But we are when we are preparing this budget, we believe we can move the trend up. Now, but you have not done that. Yes. That's why I'm asking you to bring me the figures as of end of 2021. And one of the reasons why... No, wait. Yes. I, I don't want to, to yes. know the reasons why. Uh, I will give you another trend. Okay. If you look at areas of rates and taxes, you estimated in 2020 1.4 million to collect areas of rates and taxes. But you collected only 292. So you, are, you have a shortfall of over a million, right? Yes. Now you come to... 1.2 million. 
you come to approved budget for 2021 for areas you said you will collect two million yes how much did you collect 149 huh? 149 149 so the difference is getting bigger yes. but yet still being a qualified accountant for your projection for 2022 you increased it to 2.4 million is that is that correct in your view is that correct can you justify this increase yeah yes in my view is that 2021 we uh, there were reasons why we could not make good collection one of the reasons is we face with inadequate devices within the period. And then, like I said earlier, we are all also expecting the tariff will be approved in 2022. So, and other challenges too. So these are what, well, whenever we are preparing the budget, we also try to consider all these factors that we are saying. Mr. Mr. Suso. Yes. Maybe you can fool others, but you cannot fool me. Yes. I am not blind, and I think I can read and understand figures. Yes, very well. I, know. I think I can read and understand figures. You cannot just populate or increase where you don't have any basis. Does this budget have notes? There are notes, yes. They, they have notes, yes. And you have them. Yeah, I have to. You can bring them for us, please. Yeah. Okay. We want to see the notes okay. of your budget for 2022. Thank you. Now, uh, Mrs. Suso, do you, are you allowed under your profession to impute discretion in the drafting, in the, in the, in the, in the preparation of your budget? No. Budget normally no, I don't have that right. Yes, because the justification you are trying to give Honorable Commissioner Joyner is that there is an anticipated amendment in the charges, and that is what you factored in here. But is that supposed to be? Because it's not yet, it's not yet a legal document that you could use. Do you know, as we sit here, People in Basse can decide to sue you for charging them what is wrong. Are you, do you know that? Because you do not have any basis to charge them what you charge them. You do not have the legal basis to do so. Which, uh, do you know that? Which particular line? <laughs> it's every line. Because no. you, you, are, you are justifying the fact that the the increment in the numbers is as a result of the fact that there was an assessment made. Is that not what you told us? There was an assessment made and their figures were reviewed. The, the, the tariffs are reviewed. No, no. That would enable you charge, you understand? And then when you charge, you will arrive at these figures. Is that not what you are explaining? No, 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 no. The figures, these figures are but they are, they are just esti uh, estimates. These are just projections. Yes, but then these projections, that is what our, our, our question is. Yes. These projections must be based on something. Yeah, but the charges and the projections differ. Yes. Yes, the charges... But what are you... Now, tell me, for me to understand. Yes. What were you saying was the reason because you just told us now that um, you reviewed... You understand? You the had tariff. a meeting. Yes. What did you review? We, refu we reviewed our old tariff. Your tariffs? Yes, but that was not uh, approved. We still maintain our old tariff. So charging uh, taxpayers in Basse, uh, it, it was not based on the, 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 the new tariff that we review, which is not yet approved. It, it, the charges were done on the old tariff. They were done on the old tariff? Uh, of course. <laughs> So that is the new evidence. The 2011, now. yes. That's the new evidence you are giving now. No, no actually, the charges, uh, the, the charges were done on the old... So, the but then why were you saying that because, the, the, you know, the charges were reviewed, 
That was why. The 2020 estimates, yes. these are projections. No, what? you tell, told us here now that some of these figures is as a result of that you reviewed your, 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 your tariffs. No. Is that not what you said? No, no, no. I did not say that. You did not say that? I did not oh, say that. Okay. Maybe I got you wrong. Thank you. Council, you may proceed. Thank you. Um, Mr. Suso. Yes. So, when you're charging for rates, you have a list of every individual that should pay rates, right? Yes. And the amount of rates that they're supposed to pay, the rate at which they're supposed to pay it, right? Yes. So, um, Co Commissioner Pal had said, I think, 0 0.003 on, is it residential? And 0 0.001 commercial, one of those two, right? What is the rateable, what is the value of the properties that you're, rate, that you're charging rates on? We are not charging. So that's not how you're charging. You have a fixed charge. Uh, yeah, we are, not, we, are not, uh, we are not charging value properties in Basel. Okay. So you charge maybe $150 C4 type of house like that? Yes. So you would have a list of everybody who has, pretty much everybody who has houses in, or homes or land within Basel, right? Yeah, we have a race register. So you have the rates register. Yes. When you're preparing your draft budget, do you attach a copy of the rates register? No. When you're in the budget committee having meetings to discuss the um, draft budget, do you attach a copy of the rates register? No. So what about the licenses register? No. no. You don't attach that either? No. Even though you have a list of all the people that should pay license fees? We don't attach it. You don't attach it. Yes. Um, why is this? You don't think that the people who you're discussing the budget with need to know or need to have evidence of that um, revenue line that's supposed to come in? Yeah. Normally, during the process, the supervisors responsible for the licenses and the rates will provide us figures and also advise us. Advise me personally, you know. Uh, when it's come to increment of some of the uh, budgeted figures to be captured in the budget. Because normally, uh, if, this, if the circular is sent to me, I also indeed them to seek for their advice. So, you know, that's not what I asked you why it is that you don't attach those no, documents. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. Why? Uh, I no. know you don't do it. Why? Well, I, I cannot say anything because that's not normally what we do. Oh, why, because, is, why is that? Because it is not indicated anywhere and I... I have never uh, went through such thing. So is it not, do you not think that it is helpful for the people that you're reviewing the budget with to see exactly where you're getting these figures from, where it is possible? I can understand revenue lines that you don't have a comprehensive list, but for those that you have a comprehensive list, is there a reason why you don't attach it? We don't attach it, but during the presentation of the budget at the general councils, all these questions are asked, and then the finance so committee will defend. Not, not questions, evidence. So the list. What about the establishment register? Do you attach it? We don't attach, but we present it to the general council. So you present the actual establishment register. Yes. So why do you not present the register for rates and that for licenses? We only present the figures. You present the establishment register. Yes. It has every name of every staff within Basa Area Council. It has all their salaries, all their allowances, everything, per month and for the whole year, right? So if you see fit to attach this when it's not written anywhere, as you said, for the rates register and the licenses register, why would you not attach all of them? No, within the period, we only present the establishment register, present uh, the figures, actual figures collected on each of the lines, then from there... So I'm not asking about, you what, about what you've collected. I'm talking about when you're doing, going over the budget for the year that's coming. Because uh -huh. you're estimating those figures based on the registers, right? Yes. So if you can think, even though it's not written anywhere, if you can think to attach the establishment register, why does your mind not go as far as the license register and the rates register? 
No, my, my, my never comes to, uh, comes to that. I see. So do you issue license, licenses to the people you collect operational license from? Or whatever license you collect fees you collect from? Whether we? Issue licenses. Yes, we give them uh, receipts against the uh, Is a receipt a license? Uh, if you are operating business, you should pay license. So you are given invoice. Why are you paying license fees? Because of your operating business. Okay, and what is your proof that you've paid license fees? And what is your proof that you have a license to operate? The proof is physically we have to see uh, the business. Not for you. So, yeah. What is so? Say you've collected license fees in from 2022 <coughs> from a shop owner in Basse. You gave him a receipt, and he's lost the receipt. One of your staff or the police, anybody goes into the shop and looks around and accuses them of not paying license fees, of not having a license to operate. How you know do they it? prove that they have a license, that they're licensed to operate? Normally, if they pay a license, we advise them, let them display the license receipt within their premises. Whenever the license receipt is lost from them, they have right to come to the office and request for copies. Why should they have to do that? Yes, because we, you are already provided with the receipt. If you lost the receipt, it's your responsibility to come to the office and ask for another copy. So maybe you don't understand what I'm asking you. So when you, okay, you have a business, right? You no. operate a business? No. You don't operate a business? No. I'll attend to agency, it's not your business? No, I only register it, but it is, it is not operational. You only registered it? Yeah. When did you register it? 2020. 2020? Yes. What month? October. And what is it registered as? Mm, real estate. Okay, and what is it registered as? Is it a sole proprietorship? Is it a company? Sole proprietorship. It's a sole proprietorship. Now, when you went to register, they gave you a receipt, right? Yes. Did they give you anything else? Yes. What did they give you? So this is a receipt. Ten. A certificate of business registration and a GPPA certificate. Where are the originals? Oh, those ones I misplaced them. You misplaced the originals. Yeah, I, I tried to find them, but I couldn't uh, see them. Chairperson, I applied to tender the single window business registration system receipt dated 28th day of July 2020. Gambia Revenue Authority taxpayer identification number certificate for Lamin Suso trading as Alatentu agency. Certificate of business registration issued on the 28th of July, 2020, for Alatentu Agency, name of the owner of the business, Lamin Suso, and Gambe Public Procurement Authority, Certificate of Supplier Contractor Registration for Alatentu Ag Agency, issued on the 18th of September, 2020, in a bundle.
the business registration certificate with SR number 08109295 um, in the name of um, Lamin Suso and the name of business is Alatentu Agency and type of business is land and rental agency a place of business is Brikama West Coast, the Gambe and um, the revenue authority receipt no, the Revenue Authority um, Tax Identification Certificate um, with serial number 08109295269526 issued on the um, 26th of March 2020. The receipt from the single window business registration system um, dated the 28th day of July 2020 and the um, public the Gambia Public Procurement Authority certificate of supplier stroke contractor registration of Alatintu agency um, issued on the 18th of September 2020 which was valid um, which was valid um, on the which was valid to the 31st of December 2020. They are all hereby admitted in a bundle and marked as LGC slash LS slash BSAC slash 003. As the commission pays, I'm grateful. So, Mrs. Suso, when you paid for all these fees, you were issued receipts and you were issued certificates. Yes. So, when your the people in Basse that are um, carrying on a calling or a trade, when they pay for their license fees, do you issue them licenses? Receipt. So you said you're familiar with the Licenses Act, right? Now you're aware that the Act requires you to issue a license after they've paid license fees. Yes, that's the receipt. From my understanding, your understanding of a license is a, is a receipt? So when you registered, when you applied to register for your business, why didn't you just take the receipt and tell them that's a, li that's a license or that's a certificate? No. What I can understand is that if, they, if we invite them to pay their business, if they pay, we, we, we provide them with receipts. So. Licenses Act. It says a person following or exercising any of the callings enumerated in the column of the second schedule of this act within the area jurisdiction of any licensing authority, whether jointly with any other calling or otherwise, shall take out a license to do so and shall pay thereafter the license fee at the rate set out in the column two of the said schedule applicable to the area. So it says they need a license to carry on that calling. And to get that license, they need to pay the license fee, all right? Then four says issue of license. A licensing authority shall have the power to issue licenses under this act and may in its discretion refuse to issue or it may any time revoke any such license. You still need, you need to issue a, 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 a license. Section 6, transfer of license. A licensing authority may, on sufficient cause being shown to its satisfaction and on payment of a fee, it says of $2.50 per truth, subject to such conditions as it may think fit to impose, permit the transfer of an existing license until its expiration to another person, or transfer of an existing license until its expiration to different premises. A license shall be issued annually, half annually, or occasionally. A license issued in respect of any of the callings of, in the second schedule shall enable the individual named in such license to carry on or exercise the said calling in the area of the jurisdiction. A license in respect of stated premises, a license issued in respect of any of the callings shall state the place or premises in respect of which the said license has been issued. 
and subject to the provisions of Section 6 shall only be valid for the exercise of such calling in such place or premises, and such license shall be affixed and kept affixed by the licensee in some conspicuous place in or on the place or premises in respect of which the license has been issued. Everything in the Act is telling you that you need to issue a license. What I know is that... Inspection. A person licensed under this act shall at all times on demand produce and show his or her license to an administrative officer, a police officer or a person authorized in writing in that behalf by a licensing authority. A licensee who refuses on demand to show his or her license to or allow it to be read by any of the persons hereby authorized to demand it commits an offense against this act. So I, I don't see where in all of this you think that it is the receipt that you issue and that's it. Receipt is proof of payment. A license is your proof that you have a right to operate. So right to operate in uh, uh, like, like, uh, like how? Because what I understand about license is receipt. You read the act. You said you're familiar with the act. I asked you at the beginning. Uh, all the legislation that you're familiar with, you said you're familiar with the Act. But I, I did not mention Lansing's Act, if I can Mr. recall. Mr. Suso, I asked you specifically. I, I, I asked you specifically, and I wrote it down. You said Licenses Act. Okay. You had skipped it, I asked you, and you said yes. Yes, that one, I mean the Lansing's Act 2011, that is the tariff. Specifically. That is, not, that is not the Act. It is a schedule to the Act. Yeah, it's a schedule, yes. And the schedule comes from somewhere. The schedule is only giving you the tariff. The Act is what's giving you your powers and the powers of the person that you're issuing the license to. Okay. So how can you know what the schedule is and not know what the Act says? Honestly, I, I'm not familiar with the... Uh, you said that you had um, tried to review the tariff. Is that not right? Come again? You said that you had tried to review the tariffs. The tariff, yes. That 2011 tariff. Yes. How do you know you have the power to review it? Uh, I know it is derived from uh, 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 an act, but I'm not it's familiar from with an the act. act. And I'm it not... would be the act that provides uh, for that schedule. Is that not right? Yeah, but I'm not familiar with the act. So how can you charge for licenses and not know what gives you the power to charge it and not know what you're supposed to do under that act? As the director of finance, how do you do that? Honestly, we, I totally rely on the tariff. No. Like I said, the I, tariff? We, we, we do not dispute that you totally rely on the tariff. What I'm trying to find out is how you do not know that you're supposed to read the Licenses Act to know what your powers are and to know what your duties are. Because you seem to only know about your powers. You don't know what your duties are. All you know about is how to collect the money, but you don't know what you're supposed to do for the people that you're collecting the money from. Honestly, it will be very important for me to know it, but it's unfortunate I'm not familiar with that act. So the people under your department, if you as the head are not familiar with the act, how do they know what to do? How do they know what their duties are and what their rights are under those legislation? I know one thing, the tariff is a gasseted document, so whatever is captured in the tariff is mandatory to be collected. I know that for sure. We and do not dispute that. That yes. is not an issue. What we're trying to find out is how you conscientiously collect monies from the people in Basse and not know what you're supposed to do for them. And it You've been there since 2021. You have never bothered to find out what you're collecting license fees for, what you're supposed to do for them? No, not necessarily mean that I did not bother myself. Uh, but I, did you? I, did you bother yourself? No, I, I, it, it is not to my knowledge. If not, I will bother myself. To it is to not to your knowledge that the tariff you're collecting from comes from a legislation. I, I believe there must be a, uh, an act, right. but it's, it's unfortunate that... So if, if, if you cared about what you were doing, you would try to find out what you're supposed to do in return. Is that uh, not right? Of course I care. This is why I normally 
put a but photo your, your of his care is not day. apparent you in know? your behavior so yeah. far. Yeah. But as far as I'm in the position, I want to make sure that I'm totally, I'm fully equipped. Your, your letter of appointment, it tells you that you need to familiarize yourself with all the legislation. Yes, of course. So that is did you ask anybody about the legislation? And mind you, you've been in Brikama since 2005. You've collected revenue. You've collected license fees. You've collected rates and taxes. So it's not like the Licenses Act is something new. That's just being applicable to you since you moved to Basse. Ma, actually, that is not to my knowledge. I could not. That is not what? Uh, it's not to my knowledge. I'm not. Uh, I'm not familiar with the document, and it's unfortunate. Uh, I don't know anything about that act. I think you are the first guy to, to, to uh, you know, uh, inform me about that specific act. Chairperson, I don't know whether you have any questions or if this is a convenient time. It's yes. four thirty. We. I think. I, be, I believe it's a convenient point to stop. We'll continue tomorrow.